tense moments in a Minnesota prison today when about 100 inmates refused to return to their cells. As the prison remains on lockdown tonight, David Schumann spoke to loved ones of men inside who say it was a peaceful protest. It was a day of uncertainty for Marvina Haynes, unable to communicate with her brother Marvin behind the walls of the Stillwater prison. It's been very emotional, very terrifying. The Department of Corrections says about 100 of his fellow inmates refused to go back to their cells for hours Sunday, prompting a lockdown and evacuation of staff. The majority of the time, the incarcerated uh, men who did not return to their cells were at tables that are in the commons area playing cards, talking with one another. But a response team similar to SWAT was called out of caution, the DOC says, along with a crisis negotiations team. Marvina says the men were protesting their movement being restricted, limiting their access to clean drinking water in the hot prison. The DOC commissioner says complaints that the water inside's dirty are patently false and that it's been tested and found to be clean. He did acknowledge, though, that limited access to phones, exercise equipment, and showers is what caused the situation. The more staff we have, the more we can open up uh, programming, uh, which is exactly what the concerns of incarcerated people are. The DOC says the prison's short 50 officers. Staffing is both a short and long-term concern, with the Corrections Officers Union saying chronic understaffing leads to upset offenders due to the need to restrict recreation time. Marvina says the conditions inside have to improve. The jail told us that everything ended peacefully, but we're not sure of that because we still haven't had the opportunity to speak with anyone from the prison. In Bayport, David Schumann, WCCO News. The DOC says inmates' free time has been cut down by more than half during current staffing issues.